All children with epilepsy should be screened for autism, but this task need not fall solely on physicians. Certified nurse practitioners, social workers, and other experts in child development can help you out. According to your study results, you recommend that all children, young children with epilepsy, undergo an autism screening, whether they are newly diagnosed or whether they have been diagnosed for some time. We've found that in doing our developmental and autism screening that we've had a good yield in both developmental and autism and that when we combine the two together, um, the autism screen is better interpreted when you combine the developmental and autism screen together and look at both simultaneously. By screening them, um, you know, either established or the new onset patients, they're being able to be found early on, so they're able to get the services that they need in order to have the best outcomes um, for autism and development. Now, this isn't something that pediatricians and neurologists really have time to do in their office when they're dealing with a lot of patients, and a screen like this is time consuming. So, what's your recommendation on that? Well, we recommend that you designate this to the nurses, nurse practitioners, social workers, the other allied health professionals. Um, we are both pediatric nurse practitioners. We were specially trained in development. We've taken the time to administer the screening tools as well as score them and review them and then make the referrals and then follow up with the patients also. What's next in your research? Um, we're now screening all of their children up to 18 years of age, not just the young ones. Um, we're trying to screen all of our patients with epilepsy, uh, not just those seen in the Epilepsy Monitoring Unit and Ketogenic Diet Clinic. And we're also broadening our screening tools to not just screen for development in autism, but also for cognition, behavior, and psychiatric comorbidities as well. All with the goal of getting kids the services they need. Yes. As early as possible. This is Michelle Sullivan reporting from Baltimore for Global Medical News Network.